Hey, potato nation. I was gonna do the rear main seal and the uh, oil pan gasket at the same time, but uh, this actually was a little bit more. This one, for some reason, was harder than what I. wasn't hard. It was just didn't go in super slick, which is weird. So I test fitted it first. I didn't put the gasket on. I didn't put perm seal on. What was happening is, is in the other video, you saw how I put in the main seal into the cap. Well, I just wanted to test fit it before I put on the gasket. And it's always good to test fit everything. It always is. And I'm glad I did because this seal has a, has a spring on the, out, on the back side of it. So when I was putting this on, this inner part of the seal wanted to fold out towards me. And that's not, it, it needs to fold in to hold onto the, 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 can, or the crankshaft. So I think what the problem was, I did, was doing this this morning, and the uh, my shop's cold this morning, and the parts were cold, and the seal wasn't moving right because it was cold. So I warmed up everything, uh, and I test fitted it on, and I think I got it. I think I got it where it'll come off and go on pretty easily. One of the things I was going to do, and I'm not going to do it, but I, I was thinking about, you know, running the seal in behind it. You know what I mean? And and then putting it on, which would be super easy. But then, you know, they're talking about Permatex, Permatex, Permatex. I hate Permatex. But I also don't want to uh, put this all together and then have a rear main seal leak. So, I test fitted this one. I think, I think that seal will be good going back on. We will see. So, I hate Permatex. I hate this film. So, let's see if it, if I'm making a mess or, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. And that's not right. Son of a yeah, it is. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Holes are lined up. So Again, hopefully it goes one easy peasy and I don't have to mess with it too much because <laughs> All right. hopefully that's good. This is a different kind of perm text. It's for, it's fuel resistant. Uh, that's all I had left in the shop. Uh, fuel resistant. It's a Feels different than the other crap. You know, I don't know about this. We'll see. This stuff is... Mm, I'm already not liking this already. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a guide bolt in, maybe. So my... You guys can duck and flop around. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. We'll see. Here we go. Come on, baby. See, that's what I was talking about. You need to slide up in. <clears throat> See, it wants to pucker out. You don't want it to pucker out. <clears throat> oh, man. There it goes, baby. <clears throat> there it is. There it is. I just now I got to make sure your gasket. Well, make sure you don't miss a bolt and a gasket. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, 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 that one doesn't feel right. Okay, gum it. Root 
rotate it just a little bit. That way, maybe. Oh, I need some light. Oh, man. I hate perfect text. Man, I can't. Sometimes you just can't tell. I just don't want to miss the gasket, you know what I mean? Just make sure you get that bolt through the gasket. Man, Permatex is so nasty. It's nasty stuff. I, I'm not having a good feeling about this. Huh. Wow. <laughs> yep. And I missed it. I missed the uh, gasket completely. I'm glad it popped off. This is what I was trying to avoid. It happened anyway. Look what happened. Now I'm going to clean up everything and pop it back off. Oh, wow. Something simple. Look at that. Look what happened. Yeah, this is what, you know, I'm glad I'm showing you this. Because this is what you don't want to have happen. Look how that popped down behind it. I'm going to clean all this back up. Do it all over again. And uh, I hate perm tests. So, look at that. What a mess. I don't want to get any perm text behind Behind the cam. I don't want to get in there. I'm going to clean all this up. Do it again. I mean, like those apples. Let's try this again. I didn't want any perm protection on that seal. Um, <laughs> I cleaned all the perm text out behind there. Let's try this again. Uh, See, what I don't want is, oh, crap, see here. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it ain't. It did make a difference of being heated up. The garage, the cold parts, the warm parts make a difference. Get in there. There it is. Come on, there we go. That felt better. That felt better. There we go. You can tell that the gasket's sitting correct this time. Yeah. You can kind of see through that the gasket is laying where it should. Um, I'm not going to bother uh, torquing these because there are lock washers on them. So that tells me, uh, tells me like hand tight. Oh my goodness. Man, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it ain't. So, you know, I can feel it's right. The differences before, it just didn't feel right. There we go. 
and I know that that seal is hitting every bolt hole now. Wow. Yep, yeah, feels better. You can feel the underneath here. You can feel the gasket protruding out past it, which is what it's supposed to be doing. Because when you go to put on the uh, when you go to put on the oil pan, you trim the what's protruding down. You trim them off with the razor blade, make them flush. So that felt pretty good. Um, I, I was more concerned about it. I didn't want perma, Permatex anywhere around the seal or behind the... I just didn't want the crap um, where it should be, basically. Uh, that feels pretty good. Should have been that hard. On the uh, thinner wall socket to get into this top three. Should have been that hard. Well, now you see what not to do. And there's the last little piece of mojo or whatever. These top three bolts are recessed in this aluminum. These are, uh, they're all 716s, but these are, of course, easy peasy to get to, right? And again, they all have a lock washer on it. But a socket won't fit inside there, right? So I took just a socket, a 716 socket I had, and I... Where you at? Let me ghost you. You know, Patrick Swayze and the chick and the clay thing. So I just took a, uh, just a socket and uh, hit it with the grinder. Ground it down to thin wall that out for just that. Just that. And I, I won't, I won't use that for anything else. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me, and if it snaps, it snaps. If it doesn't, doesn't, or if that snaps, it snaps. Uh, thin walls are not really cool to work with, but that's how I got it in there. Good grief, that was a difficult one. It's a simple, simple main seal, and I made it look difficult. So don't do exactly what I did. Do the end result. Make it fit. Later, Tater.